pretty sure all the biggest stuff is going to be way at the bottom. We're going to mine diamonds bigger than ourselves. Starting with a few little sapphires, and I don't suppose we can go upwards, we can. Once I'm adequately full, I bring my happy little drill up here, where we exchange our gems for money. Then we can upgrade our drill to drill level 2, and then 3. And when we mine enough blocks, we can buy companion bots. Basically things that can do the work for me. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it myself right now, because I do enjoy mining an awful lot. I would like some bigger gems though. There also seems to be a barrier preventing me from going deeper so far. Never mind, I just touched it and I'm allowed to start mining red gems. The ice down here is a lot stronger, we're gonna need to upgrade our thing. I probably also should have delivered my gems to the previous store because I think I lost them all by moving down. I am gonna hire a companion bot to help me dig. He's not the quickest servant in the world, but he does try hard. As far as drill is concerned, we're definitely gonna upgrade this a few times. So level 5 drill means we're going much quicker and there's even an acorn hidden below in the ice. But I feel like red gems are going to be considerably better than the old ones. I picked up the acorn, I'm pretty sure it went directly to drill money. We also have size up times too. My little drill helper is just kind of mining indiscriminately through the ice. Before even touching that bottom layer, I want some of my upgrade points. Because we can go a long ways up now, we can take the drill all the way up to level 8. Plus upgrade our little friend. And I can also hire a second companion bot and I assume they're both level 2. So now I don't really even need to be here anymore and they'll mine everything for me. But I'm going to go ahead and keep going down because this area is about mined out. Now we're on to emeralds and pirate skulls. Okay, I brought a few of my emeralds back to the surface. We got $43 for our trouble. We only mined a few of those. Drill level 10. My companion bots are definitely going to need some help because things aren't getting any easier down there. This bound dirt is actually quite hard to mine through. Between the two of them, they are making very slow progress. Unlike me with my super miner, I just tear through this ground right into the biggest of gems. I also got three keys, so we found buried treasure, which is 48 pieces of ground. They buried pieces of ground in a treasure chest in the ground. Like the reward for opening a chest is all the ground you have to dig through to get to the chest. The ground does have a little bit of value though, so I'm going to fly my flying drill around and mine up some of this ground so I can upgrade my idiot so I don't have to do the work anymore. That actually worked not bad because now I have three companion bots. And the drill gets a level up, I have a feeling we're going to need to keep upgrading his drill. Because the faster I can mine this stuff, the stronger we're going to get in a hurry. So let's find out what kind of gem is next. We're going to dive bomb straight in there, we get sapphires and emeralds. And my little helpers are going to work around doing their thing. Curiously, they basically pay for their own upgrades. They're going to mine the dirt that gets them upgrades so they mine the dirt faster so they get their own upgrades faster. I'm mining so quick the drill's red hot and I'm mining through stuff, there's another pirate head. I've mined all the fun stuff so I'm going to let my idiots mine all the boring dirt while I go and upgrade myself. All those emeralds are going to be worth that much, $442. That should be a few easy upgrades for us up to level 14 already. They can get four, almost four, well they can now get four upgrades. So they're up to power four so when they put their little noses together they can actually get through dirt not crazy fast but fast enough to actually make a difference. So I'm going to let them work away for a little bit while I go get some coffee and then we'll come back to better upgrades. My helper idiots are still too slow for me. I'm going to help them up just a little bit and then we're going to dive into the next layer. I don't know if I carry the gems forward but I don't want to find out the hard way so I'm always going to stop before I leave. And this way I get a level 15 drill. And that's going to make me unstoppable as I dive into rainbow land. And we're going to mine sapphires and rubies. And we're so strong we're actually doing this in a really big hurry so far. Even my little helpers are going quickly through this. I don't know if the rainbow land means it's a bonus level where the dirt's lighter but we're going to go ahead and tear through it. Quickly saved up 16 gems which are apparently purple now and that gave us almost $500. There's no upgrade here, so this is clearly just a bonus level. I do have enough for another companion, so I'm going to take a whole new one. Then they can work even harder to mine for me. Pretty soon I won't have to do anything at all myself. And then back to work in the real world, but we're mining emeralds and like bedrock. My little helpers at this point are actually still able to go through this pretty well, so we're keeping up on their upgrades well. My main drill really tears through this stuff in a hurry though, and that's a nice relief. But we're going to keep upgrading it until it makes this stuff look like dust. Okay, we're going to take our 16 gems here to the gem shop, get 700 or uh, maybe over $1,000 for our trouble. That's definitely a few good upgrades for us up to level 18. And then I'm going to get another companion bot and upgrading them is still only 50 lands. We're just going to have an army of helper bots soon, we don't have to do any of the actual work. Diving into volcano land, ooh we have yellow gems, topaz, and purple and red, we're getting all the colors of the rainbow. I realize there's probably a more efficient way of mining too than my sporadic diving in for gems. If I do it in layers like this it's quicker, I'm just way too impatient for that, I've had too much coffee for thinking. If I go like this it goes really quickly and then my idiots can get whatever I do leave behind. This ground is pretty hard to mine though considering how leveled up I am already, it takes a second even for me to get through it. Got this one mostly emptied out, we're going to take our many, many valuable gems and trade them in for over $2,000 and for some reason I don't, there we go, $2,500 and that'll take us up many levels. 
But Helper Idiots need some help, so they're going up to level 17. So let's see how they're doing. Yeah, when they put all their drills together, they go through that stuff pretty quick. On to the next zone. We're going to dive straight down in. I should also take advantage of this diving mechanic more where you can go up and if you just let yourself fall, it'll dive way down in at high speed. But at the same time, I should probably let my idiots do all the work because it's easier that way. This ground is actually really, really hard, even for me to go through. So I'm going to take the gems I have, trade them in for three and a half thousand. So that means I can level myself up twice. And then my idiots are up to $78 per upgrade, but we can afford a few of those. They're level 20. I feel like this zone's also very big. There's a lot of blocks to mine out. So once again, I'm mostly going to leave it to my idiots. Just brought whatever gems to the top. Going to get one more drill upgrade. Then we've cleaned out 99% of that zone. So we're on to the next, back to red dirt. Very, very tough red dirt. <laughs> I did a thing where I made myself bigger. I'm two times the size and that seems to have no practical use whatsoever. I don't fit in my mining holes anymore, so this actually works against me. And for the first time ever, I've been told I'm running low on fuel. I was beginning to think that mechanic didn't even work, but I'm just that efficient at mining. That's worth so much, we just made $7,700. That sounds like a lot of money, but it's only going to get us two upgrades. So what we really need is another companion bot. I wonder how many you can get of these before the game just sort of breaks. Clearly it's more than what I have, but they probably also need an upgrade. Their numbers are starting to stack up, but they need more power individually. Back to the servers to give my idiots a little bit of extra help. There's four extra levels. And they're out of dirt, and we get a bonus rainbow level now. So let's really plow into that and take advantage. This is going to give us a huge boost. Look at how easily they tear through this too. I really don't have to do anything here. I just kind of fall through their <laughs> debris field. They're like kids on Christmas. And they're finding lots of keys that get us lots of chests, which get us more ground for them to eat. Yeah, that's it. They've got to earn their own upgrades. They don't get those for free. Okay, we're going to trade all that in. We broke $14,000, right? About $15,000. And the idiots are getting expensive, so instead of adding more, I'm just going to spend a little bit of money to make them better again. Going way underground with this one. I found what I've been looking for, the giant gems. I mined through that. I think it gave me five instead of one. Now we just need to find the land that's made of giant gems. I got so excited I just dove straight in for that without thinking about anything else. We've already made it down 886 feet. I would imagine it's going to be something fun at a thousand. I also really need a drill upgrade. Even my drill is going pretty slow here. We've sold all of our gems, $21,000. That's going to get us a few much needed upgrades. And maybe even one or two for the idiots, depending on how expensive they're getting. Two upgrades for them. So let's use our newfound mining power to see how deep we can go. I'm also shamelessly just hunting for the big gems down here. I'll settle for an acorn and a little turbo boost. We actually managed to get this entire area cleaned out really quick, and that means a lot of upgrades for everyone. Then again, things are getting expensive. I'm level 30. But they get to go from 31 to 34. Oh, they cost 104 blocks each to upgrade now. But that's okay because they earned their money back eventually. So for now, I'm going to sit on a gas pump and let them do some work. They weren't working fast enough, so I just took over again. And I found what I'm looking for once again, a giant gem. And currently I'm at a depth of 992, so if I go down another few bites, we're going to hit 1,000 feet. Which looks to be the border. There's 999. I need to click this to go further, but we need to empty out the riches at this level first. I have to come back to the surface for some fuel, so I might as well sell the gems. $40,000. These are getting valuable quick. There's a few easy upgrades. And same for my faithful idiots. Not that they have a choice. I feel like that actually made a pretty big difference for me. I'm really plowing through this dirt now. Okay, let's see what lies a thousand feet down. Straight into the ice, which is really hard to dig through. We got a whole bunch of rubies. My idiots are all bunched up. I was kind of hoping for something a little more uh, exciting at a thousand feet, but there might be a giant ruby hiding down here somewhere, so we're going to go find that. No ruby yet, but there is a lot of buried garbage. I think this is a rock, so we found a rock. So far, no giant ruby, and that's very sad because I really want a giant ruby. This deep ice is especially hard to dig through. Like, look how long it's taken to get through a single tile at this point. I'm running out of fuel, it's taking so long. Luckily, there's an easy solution for that. And then we're going to dump off all of our rubies. That gave me almost $60,000. Time for a few upgrades. That's going to be a big difference. And the idiots get a jump up to level 40. So let's see how far down this can get us with a new upgrade. There's an acorn over there, but we're going to let the idiots grab that. They got to have some kind of fun. Those few levels of upgrades really help for me because look at how quickly we can go through this now. Before it was a struggle, now it's super easy. And if we can manage to get a few more of these gems, it'll be even easier again and the acorns. We only got nine gems that time, but those nine gems are still worth 40 grand, which should mean a few more upgrades for me. And that means I can really tear through this stuff extra quick now. Look at me go. I'm basically free falling. That's another zone basically all cleared out. On to the next one. Giant gems await us. 
They're down there somewhere. We're gonna go find them. There is one perfect. And we leveled up enough that we were really plowing down. But once we get about halfway through the level, we slow down again. So we're going to grab what gems we can and upgrade. Those few gems I got, $120,000. So that's another two upgrades. And it's only two levels, but it makes a really big difference as to how quick we can mine. So I'm just going to do what I keep doing. Go down, get all the gems, go back up. My idiots will get all the boring dirt. At this point, every gem is worth $9,000. So those are going to add up real quick. And since I've got this mostly done, let's go back to a rainbow level. Maybe there's some giant gems in a rainbow land. I hope so. At the very least, we're going to get a lot of easy free upgrades here. There doesn't appear to be any giant gems, but there is just a lot of regular gems, and I'll take that. The gems here are only worth 5,000, but that still gave me an easy 200 grand. And that only took like 10 seconds to do. Back to the big dirt. And then I can buy another two upgrades, level 40. Haven't found any giant gems yet, but we are finding lots of emeralds and sapphires. But for 20 grand each, uh, what we do have added up to $400,000 in a hurry, so that's another two upgrades. That means we can plow basically straight to the bottom where we find no giant gems, much to my disappointment. Did it give us enough for one more upgrade? And a few for the idiots. On to the next round where there's definitely going to be some giant gems. So far there's a lot of small ones, like a lot of them. And while the ground is almost made out of emeralds at this point, there is no giant ones and also not a lot of progression. So we're going to find a better one and mine even deeper.